Sterl W. Bristol, let's continue now and uh, talking about travel trailers. I advise a travel trailer if you're going to do this construction work, shutdowns, or uh, pipeline work, because you got your home with you. It feels like home. So psychologically and emotionally, it's a much better deal, okay? But what kind of trailer? Well, just in general, I mean, there's no one trailer to buy. But in general, these are things I learned. Uh, if you're single, you say, well, I can live in a 20-foot travel trailer. Yeah, you can if you're just old single old boy. And <clears throat> you got some nasty dog sleeping up there with you. But in general, bigger is better. I mean, you don't have to be 43 foot and 20 foot tall, but bigger generally is better. You ever buy a house or an apartment, look pretty big till you moved in it, till you started putting your furniture in it, right? Well, a travel trailer is that way on steroids. You need a place to hang your clothes, okay? It needs to have closet space. Especially if you got a wife and kids, you need a washer and dryer in it. You don't want your wife having to go down uh, to the trailer park wash interior that's nasty with a bunch of roughnecks living in it unless she has to. So think about that. Washer and dryer. You want a refrigerator that's big. It doesn't have to be the biggest one, but it gets a little tired and having to go to the store and get groceries about every other night because you got this tiny refrigerator. Stove's the same way. Air conditioners. Never buy a travel trailer with one AC. You're going to buy a big one, you make sure it's got three in there. I've got one right now that's 41 foot, and there's three of them. And I was in 115 degree weather, I was pretty okay. If I'd had two, not so much. If I'd had one, I'd have been a tall day in. So that's what you want. If you're married and you got children, think about a, um, what do you call them, toy haulers. They have queen beds in the back. One is a table, makes it a queen bed, and they have a second one, and they go up to the ceiling. And you want that. They have a little half bath, sometimes a shower for your children. Why do you need that? Okay, let's be adults. If you're up there wanting to kiss your wife on the mouth, you don't want your kids up there close to you, okay? You smart enough to figure that out? So just think about those things, real life. I'm Joe W. Brister, and that's my tips for today.